Hello and welcome to part 3 of this live coding session for Runes of Ariel. Um, in the last session, um, we saw how we created the map points. So um, let's go back in here. So what we're doing actually is we're generating these map points. That is, they are not generated as is, they are fixed here, but the content of them are is generated, of course. So if you're not aware of how this works or you want to recap, be sure to uh, check out the last two videos on uh, live coding sessions of Runes of Ariel, where I uh, create this map interface or the randomization of this map interface uh, and I give more explanation on how it works. So in this uh, final um, final uh, video on how to create this. Um, I will go further on this and if you recall from the last uh, video um, there is this generate map points function where effectively these map points will be uh, filled uh, with a JSON string actually. So let me just go and open this in debug mode and as you recall from the last video there is this uh, dictionary called map data where for each of these map points here and a map point can be a mission point like this one or a city point like this one uh, for each of these map points uh, there is a dictionary where the key is the unique identifier of the map point and in the value there is a JSON string that says okay this is the mission type continue and uh, it has a description and it has up to three options. This one has only one option, but there are other ones like this one here. Uh, this is also called one option. This has two options being battle and continue. Uh, this one has three options being update, scroll, heal and continue. So those are all different uh, types of uh, types of missions that are being generated. So again, for more information on how that works, please refer to the other videos. Um, we're going to continue here. So this piece of uh, this piece of code will effectively generate those uh, those JSON uh, strings and attach them and store them in the map data uh, the map data dictionary. So the next thing we need to do is I want to go and whenever I click one of these map points, I want to show this uh, interface, and in this interface we're going to show the content here and we're going to show these three options buttons here of course if there's only one option there will only be one button and if there are multiples there will be a second or a third button of course so how are we going to do that first thing i want to do is go into the map interaction and uh, i've also i've already got this uh, on left click of a map point where the map point is allowed to click and it is uh, the current one it is not the current one. If it's not the current one, we set it to the current and we clear the map points. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to expand and those show missions details here. So in the show mission details function, I'm going to show this uh, mission details um, layer here. And I'm going to enable the blur effects on the background and on the points uh, layer. So if we go here, you can see here, there's the effects, uh, blur horizontal and blur vertical to uh, blur the background. So um, as you see here, there is some uh, code already in here, uh, but actually it's not uh, ideal uh, because it's code which is being deprecated. It was some test code I uh, entered, uh, I created uh, earlier and um, it is not up to, up to speed anymore for the current uh, version. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a parameter. I'm going to delete these two parameters, but I'm not going to do it just yet because they are used uh, uh, on every place here on different places. And I want to just retain this, 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 this code because a lot of it is going to be reused actually. So I don't want to want to create it again. So uh, what I'm going to do here with this function is I'm going to add another parameter and I press the P uh, on the keyboard to add another parameter. Um, I've got some uh, coding uh, standards, for example, uh, parameters are starting with bar and I'm going to be 
uh, passing through a unique identifier. Like that. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a condition here. So I press the C on the keyboard and then I what I do is I go up to my point and pick by unique identifier bar UID of course. So now we've got this uh, map point. Um, and what I can do with this map point, of course, um, here in this mission description, this mission description um, uh, text is actually this one here, mission description. And originally I set it to, to this here, but I'm not gonna, no longer going to do that. I'm going to set it to um, the description I set in this generate map points. So here I see the um, I will create this JSON file and in the mission type description um, uh, property in the JSON file, we're going to uh, enter that. So what I'm going to do is uh, map data dot get, and then the key for the map data is um, uh, map points dot ready. But about I'm going to do here, and it needs to be a string, so I'm going to cast it to a string. Um, but right now, what it's going to do is it's going to get the JSON, actually, and that's not what I want. So I'm going to add another uh, thing here, and I'm going to say, okay, um, let's do this. So actually, this is wrong. What I'm going to do is uh, we're going to say JSON. Um, so JSON is a uh, is a dictionary. Uh, no, is a JSON object which is here uh, in the data folder JSON, um, and it's just a generic something we're going to be reusing every time we want something parsed in a JSON or we want to create a JSON. Uh, so it's being used here to create JSON uh, things here, and it, we're going to use it, or we're going to abuse it here to uh, parse the JSON, which is in this map data. Uh, so we're going to say JSON um, parse, and what we're going to parse is this. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set mission description to uh, json dot get um, and mission type description I believe it's called that way mission type description here you can see that so that's already that and for now I'm just going to be disabling these uh, I just want to see if that already works uh, so show mission details let's call this here function Show mission details, never mind the first two. And uh, what I'm going to pass along, of course, is mapoints.uid. So let's see how this pans out. <laughs> okay, that works. Um, but it says zero. So that's not really working, is it? So uh, let's see. I'm going to go and go here and mm, let's solve a breakpoint here and go and debug mode. That didn't really work. Um, searching for JSON here. Uh, it's alphabetical, but come on, Jason. So, didn't really load anything. So, what's the problem here? Okay, let's do this here. Copy, paste. Let's see, there should be a JSON. Here we are. 
This is played Jason, of course. Find treasure, then scroll, continue, continue, three options, continue, continue, which is strange, but nevertheless. Um, um, let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's do that to see if that works. Nope. So it's not passing that somehow. So let's try that. No, but that was not the idea. Uh, this is the content. Mm -hmm. So it's not overwriting that. Don't really get what's happening here. Mm-hmm. 
que... Great. So now it worked. So this is a live coding session and I'm not infallible, so this is what happened. Um, so what I did wrong is I created something at the data layer. And data layer does not exist, obviously, as in that's what happens here. Um, it creates an object, it does big class create it, then we parse the data, and then we use that here. Um, and then we must not forget here at the end, um, let's do that, we put this in between, so I can further reference this last curated JSON and at the end we of course we destroy the JSON. So now what what we're going to do is uh, we pick the first one and we pick the text. So we pick the first button and the first button text here. Um, and then um, what we want to do is we want to see if uh, option 1, option 2, or option 3 exists. So in this case it's option 1. So we want to check here. Let's make another condition. Uh, and we want to check um, JSON. No, not in the system, of course. JSON, it has a certain key. Um, if it's got mission one which it probably has we set this enabled and stuff like that oh no if it's not got mission one then we set it disabled in invisible else it has got um, mission one <coughs> excuse me and then we set it enabled and then what we want to do is we want of course the text here and this should be uh mission one description of course is it, is it mission one it's option one so we're wrong again option option one and then what I'm going to do is here we're going to set the button text to json.get uh, option one description of course and then we we set the action to uh, json.get option one of course and the context let's not do the context for now we're going to do that later so we're going to uncomment this thing here and of course we want to add this one here and then we say okay does this one have option two do the same thing and i'm going to just copy paste that here that's this one and remove all that and instead we want option two description we want the action to it. So we're going to use this action later on. We'll click the button. We're going to use this action to determine what, we're doing, what the button has to do, of course. Um, and uh, we do exactly the same thing here. But instead, we pick option three. And we do this. And then we go here. And option three and no that's not the idea yeah. option three all right let's see what that does click it okay that seems to be working uh let's do it another time just move on do a credit rate and get some training it seems to work. So we've already come this far in uh, uh, in next uh, videos and in next uh, in the next uh, advancement of the game. Let's say um, 
we're going to implement these buttons one by one and implement these actions one by one to uh, go into battle to trade a card to uh, manage uh, artifacts and stuff like that so uh, that's what's uh, going to happen but this concludes this video so excuse me for uh, just fooling around a bit when searching for the JSON uh, bug uh, but Maybe it's helpful for you as well to see uh, what I encounter as, uh, as errors or as bugs and how I deal with them. Uh, maybe inspiring for you as well. But comment on this, comment on the video uh, if if you liked what I'm if you like what I'm doing and uh, if it annoys you to uh, basically see what I'm doing uh, or not, um, so I can adapt my videos uh, for your needs. As always, please like and subscribe, and if you want to see more videos, uh, just support me on my Patreon page, as well as if you want to get the full source code of the game, uh, also support me on my Patreon page, the link is in the description. Bye.